Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Design with Uzbe. Continuing with CSWA practice problems, today we'll work on question 2.8. Let's take a look at this question. So in this question, unit of measurement is millimeter gram second. Like always, we need to ensure we are using the same unit of measurement in solid work setting. Now looking at this question, it's pretty much easy and simple geometry. You can see that we have the front view with some dimensions shown on it, and we also have the right view. My approach to model this part is to first focus on the outer edges of the geometry, making a 2D sketch of it. And then I'm going to use offset command to make the inner geometry. The reason is that we have consistent wall thickness across the geometry, and that is 15 millimeters. So the best approach is to use offset command to make that consistent wall thickness. After that, we can add fillet radius to the corners. And finally, we can use extruded bus feature to make the final 3D model. So with this introduction, let's jump into SOLIDWORKS and start modeling this part. In SOLIDWORKS, first thing first, we need to check unit of measurement. And you can see that we have millimeter gram second, which is the correct unit of measurement. After that, we can click on the sketch tab, click on the sketch command, and I'm going to choose front plane. Let's make a 2D sketch of the outer boundaries of the geometry. So I click on line command, and then here I start from the origin, I go to right, go up, go here, go to left, and then finally going back to the origin. So I have the 2D sketch of the geometry. Now let's add some dimensions to it. To do this, I click on Smart Dimension. The overall width of the geometry is 150 millimeters. So I click on this line, and this length is 150. The height of the geometry is 250. So I click on this line, and the height should be 250. Also, the length of this line, the top line, should be 30 millimeters. So this is 30. And finally, the height of this line is 20 millimeters. So this should be 20. OK, awesome. So now I have a fully defined geometry. Let's use offset command to make the inner geometry. To do this, from the sketch tab, I'm going to choose offset entities. OK, so here we have to define the amount of offset value. So looking at the front view in the geometry, we know that the offset value is 15 millimeters. So I'm changing the distance to 15. And then I'm going to choose one of these lines. And you can see the preview. But the direction, of course, is wrong. So what I can do, I can click on reverse direction. And you can see the preview. Click on OK. And this is our inner geometry. Great. So now we have a fully defined geometry inner and outer boundary of the geometry. Now it's time to add the fillet radius to the corners and then we are ready to use extruded bus feature. To add fillet radius, you can go to sketch and then you can click on sketch fillet. And here you need to define the radius. The radius that we want to have is 6 mm. And I can now click on the corners. So basically, we need one fillet in this corner. So what I can do, I select the left line, I select the right one, and you can see the preview. Same for this one. I can select this one and this one. You can see the preview. And finally, I can select the horizontal line and this line, and you can see the preview. Next, click on OK. And now we have the fillet in the corners. OK, so now everything is ready. We just need to use extruded bus feature and make the final 3D model. To do this, click on Feature and use Extruded Bus. And here, all we need to do is choose the contour. The thickness, as it's shown in a right view in a question, is 12 millimeters. So here I change the thickness to 12. Click on OK, and that's it. So this is our final geometry. It's now time to check the total volume and make sure this is the final and a correct geometry. To do this, let's go back to the question and check the total volume provided in a question. In the question, as you can see, the total volume is 118,440 cubic millimeters. Let's go back to SOLIDWORKS and check the total volume. In SOLIDWORKS, you can click on Evaluate tab and then go to Mass Properties. And then here you can see the total volume. The total volume is 118,439.97 cubic millimeters. If you round up this number, 
you're going to get exactly the same answer as it's shown in the question. So our modeling is correct and this is a final and a correct model. Okay, I think that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comment or feedback, please leave comments down below. Thanks again for watching. My name is Ruzbe. Hope to see you again soon in the next videos.